Well, that test was really hard. I studied for two nights, and I still missed a couple questions. Um, you only missed two? Yeah, how'd you do? Um, well, um, well, oh, who cares about all that history stuff anyway? I don't need it. Really? I thought it was important and even interesting. You know what they say, he who ignores history is destined to repeat it. Yeah, so, so historically we humans haven't been that wonderful or uh, obedient to God. I thought a future king would want to prepare to do better, you know, correct some of the problems from the past. And just who are you, a peasant, to, t to tell me how to be a king? Oh, I don't know much about your life, all right, but I guess you don't know much about mine either. Then why in the world would a king want to need or need to know anything about being a peasant? Well, how can a king rule people without knowing anything about how they live? <laughs> you peasants have no idea how hard being a royal can be. Oh, I'm sure of that. The responsibilities must be very heavy. We do understand it's not up to just royalty. Many of us want to help make life better for all of us as we serve God in the best of our abilities. You do? Really? Well, of course. Why else would anyone be on earth? But don't you need to know how things got the way they are so that you can know if or how to change them for the better? Yeah, well, when did making life better for everyone become part of a king's duties? Um, I'm confused. Um, then what is the purpose of a king? Well, first of all, to keep order and to defend the kingdom, uh, maintain the family's position on the throne, collect taxes, and make treaties and uh, alliances. Well, that does sound like quite a bit, I guess, but what about the people? Aren't they more uh, than a source of income to the throne and, and cannon fodder for the battles? Well, their service in the castle, you know, like cooks and gardeners and guards and housekeeping. So that's it? That's all we are to you? Well, um, what is there? Uh, you know, you are peasants, after all. Okay, your royal highness, I just have one more question. Yeah, what? Where would the royal family be without us? Well, we, well, it, well, we just, um, you can't admit it, can you? You can't say that there'd be no kingdom without peasants, even though you all can't manage a single day without us. Hey, you can't talk to me like that. I'm the grandson of your king, and who are you to tell me what a king is supposed to do? Um, you know, Prince Elion, you're right. The Bible commands us to fear God and honor the king. It doesn't stipulate whether or not the king is good or bad. And in several places, uh, it says to submit, obey, and pray for our rulers because they obviously need it. Um, and there are even a couple places where God tells us not to talk bad about our rulers, no matter what kind of king or ruler it is, because they rule by God's will, not ours. I apologize. Please excuse me for forgetting God's commandments about this. I am, after all, a peasant, and I am content with my station as a subject of His Royal Highness Elroy, son of Elwyn, our beloved king. All kings should be more like him. Hmm. Was there something wrong with that apology? Hmm. Seems like there was something... Oh, well, um, I told Great Uncle Eldon that it's dangerous to educate peasants. But this peasant, hmm, has outscored me on every assignment and test since he was allowed to come to class. A peasant who uh, presents some very good points and asks some very good questions. Hmm, who would have thought a peasant could be so smart? From now on, maybe I'd better take my studies more seriously. Maybe I'll learn answers to his impertinent questions. Hmm.